I'm honored to have been the quarterback on this team, and it was truly a team. I was going to point out a lot of individual people, but it was so team-oriented that I really can't without passing over some people. We had a great offense, a great defense. You heard from Charlie Anderson that we were in the top ten in the nation in total offense and total defense. Only one of the two teams in the nation that did that. And even our, our first team was great, our second team was great, and our backups, many of whom are, are here and who went on to become great players, were the Raiders. They were the backups. They were the look team. And I got to tell you, the first team O and the first team, team D played the Raiders, and they were better than half the teams we beat. It was remarkable. Um, two final comments I want to make about Allegheny in total. When we got here, as Mark said, we were build, rebuilding a program that ended up being one of the best in the nation in D3. The swimming team was a national power. The baseball team were perennial champions, and I think when Mark was there, they won three conference championships. Hoops under Coach Sundstrom, and then Coach Reinders and Phil Ness took them to the playoffs for the first time ever and won numerous conference championships. The golf team won a national championship and had numerous All-Americans. And uh, the football team won the national championship in 1990. That's a pretty darn good record. They did a great job building the program. It was the athletic directors, the administration, admissions, and financial aid that really helped us all. We were talking about that before. It, none of us came from any money. And we got in, and we got money. And it was really important to all of us. And most of the thing I'd like to say is most of the people here are very successful. I mean, there's some real powerful people that came out of these athletic programs. And that's a tribute to the type of people that we brought in. And what it shows is Allegheny does a great job in combining athletics and academics. And many of us are successful because we came here. The final thing I'd like to say is that I went to high school in South Jersey, played college football out here, I saw some great players. I saw, we played against four NFL players. The best player I ever stepped out on a field with or against is right there. <laughs> this, guy was, this guy was an all WPIAO, and the first day in practice, he was on the punt team, and he was diving into the mud. He was the best recruit we ever had and look at his record. And I tell all the parents that I talk to when I come here, you ought to be real happy that your kid's with him. Thank you, Mark. Chuck Mistretta, oh crap, Ricky, statistics are for losers. I don't I don't care, there's no shortcuts to victory. You just gotta get in there and pin your ears back and let it rip and get after him, get after him, get after him. That's it.